I googled a little trivia about presidential like, election it. odds, and mm. for the first time, it was like Trump fifty five percent and Biden thirty five percent, and and like Nikki Haley mm. somehow was in third, which didn't make sense to me. You might get your hundred buckaroos. You think, oh. who would you put in third? Okay, so that depends on yeah, I'm asking, how you I'm really, the question. If we're talking about events. If we're talking about who's most likely to be sitting in that chair on the on this day next year, if that is the question, and I don't have to talk about who's electing who and at what point, I know it's Trump, and then right after that, it's Gavin probably, Newsom. It's, it's, it's Biden after that. It's it's okay. third that's hard, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I I think it might be Vivek Ramaswamy. If I were betting, my third most likely to be sitting in the chair because I can envision a scenario where Trump and Vivek are elected and then Trump dies. Like, I feel like that's the third most likely outcome to or that or because I don't know who, who runs if Biden dies. That's my problem. Like I, I I think it's Vivek if Trump dies, because he's, he's going to be VP. He's going to be sitting in that chair. Michelle doesn't want any part of that. The right will tear her apart. Come get it, Michelle. It's going to be a rainy day for you, my friend. Oh, (laughs) wait till the (laughs) memes. Politics. Every so uh, often, okay. they try to pull Obama into something political. Obviously, not president. He's run. He's been. He's done two terms, and he's like Michelle would kill me if I was. And then name any political senator, House of Rep, whatever. He should um, be a diplomat. He should be like mean? the ambassador to such and such. He should no. be somewhere. Okay. You don't want like a huge a huge him. step down like that. Well, you want him turning light bulbs like no, you a don't... statesman. Serve your country. No, you're retired you now. You, you, you remember retire Starship in Troopers? When they, when the Sarge wanted to go and fight the bugs, and they said, the only way you're getting on the battlefield is if you bust yourself back down to private, mister. And he said, we'll do it. And he caught the bug king, the bug, the, <laughs> the brain bug. It was Zim. He's the one who went in there and got it. Checkmate, like, Taylor. Obama Just should, like, restart up. like he's prestiging. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> yes, he should prestige. I so, love uh, the idea of this Senator prestiging. Obama. No, 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 no. Unbelievably no. bored. Organizer. Start at the beginning, man. You don't feel <laughs> prestige in history. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to talk to you about Joe Biden. <laughs> yeah. The president. He, like, hands you a little basketball? literature. Like, oh, damn. <laughs> How did how did Obama get that awesome sigil next to his presidential logo? It's like, <laughs> that's the uh, second prestige logo. <laughs> that is only available to those of us who have achieved the top and decided out of boredom, we got to do it again. It'd be <laughs> anyway. Yeah, that that would be funny. But yeah, the, yeah. You, you don't want to go from being a two-term president back to any job in politics. It's such a, so, Taylor, so, such a step this. down. Taylor, yeah. hypothetically, you're a hockey player and you are very good, right? You're one of the best in the NHL. Mm-hmm. But now you're, what are you, 30? 32 yeah 32 okay now you're 32 you are not the best in the nhl anymore for some reason you aged early in this scenario (laughs) is it okay to keep playing hockey while being the fourth best guy on your team while being the ninth best guy on your team yeah it is but like get out on top i in the world of politics i do think so yeah like Okay. If you really cap out like Obama did with two big presidential, like he got, he won the presidency twice, eight years as president, that's like as as, going, that's, that's as score. good as you can do. That's the yeah. MVP. Nobel that's the Con Smythe. That's the Stanley Cup Con Smythe Nobel trophy Nobel all in one. Like, no reason to be in black. There, there's no reason <laughs> to go back to be like, can you like being a governor? You got Osama. Being a senator. That that's nah, no bueno. You go out on top. You stay out on top. You're gonna okay. you're gonna let your title change from President Obama to Senator, Governor, or Senator, I, just for fun. Is it okay to be the sixth best hockey player in your team when you used to be the best, or should you retire? No, I think uh, I think it depends on the the team situation. Like if mm-hmm. if you're still able to contribute, then you should keep playing. I've thought know. about this a lot. I think you can keep playing hockey until there's someone better than you. Right. So like if I'm not taking the place of someone who deserves it more just because I'm a big name, because I was good seven mm-hmm. years ago, then I can then I belong on that team. Me leaving would just have them backfill me with someone not as good. 100%. As long as I'm better than someone who would be on this team, yeah. then I'm allowed on it. And I, I agree with you. Like that's what like Yager was a huge name and he played as long as he could. And then when he thought like, oh, I can no longer play at a high level, he ditched off back to to central europe and played there i thought fucking models if you want to go to the ehl with your 47 year old ass and still contribute 
go for it, bro. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. And that's different. Like he, he can do that. But if Yaramir Yager were president of the United States and then he started playing hockey in shot. Czechoslovakia, I'd be like, what the fuck, Yaramir? Like, you, what <laughs> oh, were you doing? No, I would like that. He yeah. should be president and get another girl to blackmail him. <laughs> That'd I be bet dope. it's happened. I bet it's happened since then that like someone's oh, tried to get him thing? again because uh, it's almost like sad. Like he has made like he 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 played in the NHL, Kyle, for 25 years and he makes broken English Instagram posts. Oh, 25 it. years. Uh, Yarmir Yager. And he would say stuff like when he retired, he's like, I don't know what the. You know, very thankful for a great career and uh, very much look forward to the next chapter. I will play hockey as long as I can in this league because for me, you know, I have no children, no wife, no family. And without hockey, it's like, hey, what the, what is life, you know? And, <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm like, oh, Yaramir, this is really sad. <laughs> like, <laughs> so wow. hopefully he's doing good. That well, hits hard. Yeah. Um, and it's, I, I genuinely meant, and I'm not doing this for like, whatever but i'm worried about biden and i feel a little bad for him at this point like he was kind of the butt of the joke when he was sniffing little girls because it's like look at this i thought look at this horny old man smelling youth that's what it is he wants to it smell is completely that baby normal to smell children youth. and put peanut butter on your legs stop acting like it's okay weird. brother um <laughs> you, uh, the water parks told you time and time again it's not so i'm gonna I don't, well, the I, I used to with black kids day. and r- rub peanut butter on them I said, I said, one, one of you invented this. <laughs> I think I joked a few years ago that, like, what if he pooped himself on stage or something like that? But man, he really genuinely looks bad. And and, and I said it on PKN when he was doing the press conference, the point of which was to defend his memory, and he immediately forgot a pres and confused or conflated, however you want to put it, the, the president of Mexico with, I guess, BG, Bibi Netanyahu of of Israel. And sort of said that he'd been talking to the president of Mexico, CC, about opening the, you know, for humanitarian aid to the Gazan people. Or their, and it's like, we were just on the, this is the time to be sharp, you know? And it, you clearly have, like, the facts, but your mind's not betraying you here. It's, it's you're like, ah, oh, yeah. you know what's going on, but man, your wheels aren't all turning, are they? You, you just forgot his name, and it was so important for you to remember his name. Because what we're talking about right now is name remembrance. We're at the name remembering seminar, and you came up and and Joe Biden walked up and said, "Hi, I'm Tom." And fuck, <laughs> <laughs> ah, swinging a <to> miss. <laughs> yeah. Meanwhile, we got other foreign leaders giving dissertations on seventh century geopolitics in East Asia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and, and, and that's a terrible look because How I don't Putin? want. Sixties. Yeah, Putin's probably I, I don't know. 60s, I bet. Probably he, looked, find out. he looked bad, you know, last year. Not uh, we as were, old we as, all... as our fellas. 71. 71? My goodness. He looks good for 71. I see. I'm stricter. I don't even want those Europeans getting our money. No, no, no. I can't. Well, they're, used, they're putting it to use, Taylor. I appreciate that they're putting it to use and create. It's almost like we're funding like a, a move, an, an entertainment program for, for oh. me. Or people like me. Oh, okay. um, so you don't see it as like we're kind of in the looting stage of the fall of Rome? Uh, I think we're too military power, militarily powerful to fall apart like Rome yeah, did. I think we'll, they, we'll definitely Rome was see... notoriously militarily I, weak, yeah. Um, I, I think we'll see uh, more of a fall of, you know, our who we are. We'll, we're we're yeah. not... We'll just be something different. That That is what 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 we're losing who we who we are and like what we're about mm-hmm. um and and like it'll be a slow I don't, I don't know there's a very i don't know there's a very strong conservative um like swing right now it really i think this presidency's this presidential election is kind of important societal wise to kind of see which direction we swing do. back into you see the new john stewart episode yes well, well, I the daily show again. Stewart, no. sure that's enough yeah he's back on the daily show doing his doing his bit on there again i thought it was pretty good he did he, he went back and forth on biden's age and then you know trump's age too i i feel like he's more conservative than i i, I feel like to he tried to be balanced bill maher it, i used to think of bill maher and john stewart um as the lefties lefty and then colbert was the lefties lefty doing a bit where he pretends like he's a righty now i feel like Mar, in particular, has mm. 
woken up doesn't seem like the right way to put it. I, I think you're off on Mar. I think he has always had a bit of an independent streak. He didn't just mm-hmm. line up with the blue. Like a good example is when he got thrown off for politically incorrect. Mm-hmm. Everybody, if people don't know the story, everybody was saying that the 9-11 hijackers were cowards. Mm-hmm. And he was like, listen, they're evil. They're bad. There's a thousand things I don't like about them. But cowardness was not one of their flaws. Right. They're mm-hmm. actually kind of brave. To, yeah, you have to be. It would be terrifying to do what they did. I'm, I would be terrified to do what they did. But no one was ready to hear that. But it is a, uh, a just, I don't know, like one anecdote that it implies he is independent thinker. And yeah, it, it has been for well. a long time. And now the left does some stuff that's hard to like. And it's like, man, the left would fuck things up in, in like a good way, like win by a lot if they could abandon some of their dumb shittery. Both um, sides, I, both sides. And it mm. almost makes you wonder if it's just all a big rigged game to keep everybody dancing and focused on that horse shit, because it's like, why? Why are you so serious about this abortion thing? And why do you hate our guns so much? Like, clearly, mm. it's a good way to keep the, you know, the to defend ourselves against the government. And like, like example after example shows that you're not going to be able to fix the problem that you want to solve by taking guns away. Why are you so fixated on these two issues? Why can't we have a third? Not, not even a third party, just a party that thinks common sense I, I look look when it gets to economics and foreign policy who's to say i don't know i don't know sometimes it seems like the conservatives have it right and then sometimes it seems like the the liberals have it right as far as that goes foreign policy and economics but this social shit sometimes you never God. know what's right like like we have did, you seen the part go ahead i was gonna say we for example put big tariffs on china right uh, trump mm-hmm. put them there uh, i think biden kept all of them and um it's like, was that a good move? Well, shucks, I don't know unless I could do a multiverse thing where I didn't do that move, right? Because or even China... see the behind the scenes stuff where like maybe we did that to them, and then the next meeting is like, you know, we could we could take that off if maybe you just wiggle a little about a little bit over here on this thing. Well, the public won't may, won't won't know that we took it off, but look, we'll funnel a percentage of this over here and. In essence, it's off, but the public thinks it's on. Like the, with the Cuban Missile Crisis, I'm sure you probably know, but everyone thinks that was a JFK win. The Russians backed down; they took their missiles away. We took our missiles out of, I think it was Turkey or something like that. Like there was a, um, hmm. there was a, uh, what, what's the Latin? Is a, it quid um, pro quo? You're looking quid for? pro quo? Yeah, there was quid pro quo there, where where like yeah, they got their missiles the fuck out of Cuba. We gave up some stuff in Europe. We moved some missiles out of there. But part of that deal was that JFK saved face and Gorbachev, it, I think that was who it was, m- maybe not though, lost uh, it. Probably wasn't, wasn't Gorbachev. Maybe earlier. It was, it was before, it was, yeah, it was way earlier. Um, Khrushchev. Khrushchev, yes. Ah, Thanks, Taylor. Um, but, but I don't know. I imagine things like that go down. That's why I'm so, I don't like to judge when I see like a president doing a big thing with another country, even Trump. Um, because Trump is as a businessman, it seems like he likes to do those sort of like, you know, on um, what's the show where they show the products and the sharks pick them? Shark Tank. Oh, Shark yeah. Tank. Yeah. Um, sometimes they'll on the spot word a deal in a way that I never thought of a deal could be worded. And I just imagine maybe Trump playing Shark Tank with like China, <laughs> like okay, mm-hmm. okay, well we'll do this for your cars and you'll do this for our magnets. And J- Johnny, what did you want for the magnets? Two points. Yeah, two points on the magnets and and on the cars. We look the tariffs stay, but the money comes from there you shake this hand with that hand and the money comes right back to you every car that gets to this you get that Mm -hmm. i can just imagine him doing that so i can't judge i don't think anybody can really judge anything other than results and how you know what the economy is doing what prices look like i always like to see cheap gasoline that's a that's a good indicator to me that things are going well or that or at least that we have our hand or, or that we're getting our way geopolitically. If gas is cheap, then the U S is winning geopolitically. If it's expensive, then the fucking cartel has gotten together and decided to squeeze us for something. We've got to sell. Some there could be a couple causes though, right? Sometimes gas something. is expensive because the economy is booming and everybody's moving mm. and everyone's doing it. And gas got cheaper than free. They would pay you to take oil during COVID because for at least a really brief period of time, the economy absolutely spiked downwards. And, um, and nobody was moving, you know? and no one was driving. Mm-hmm. No one, yeah, we weren't. No one was using oil, and for reasons I don't understand, oil production couldn't be stopped or slowed down. So they were just like, "We got these things getting oil on our hands, and and we can't stop it. We'll pay you to take it from us, 
because we know this if keeping it going is a better idea at least we think it is yeah i often yeah. you know yeah, o no, opec no, no, no. is just a, a dirty fucking cartel i mean we're awful too but you know i i, I often wonder what we're they're squeezing us for when they what we're allowed I, to be yeah, we're allowed to be. We're the good guys. I'll be playing Tarkov. <laughs> be watch. I'll be playing Tarkov, and I'll be on. I'll be crab walking down a hallway, about to shoot a guy in the back, and then I'll be like, "Fucking rats around here!" I think I hear somebody to my right. Mm -hmm. I'm allowed to be a rat. They're, they're not. <laughs> only, I can, only I can sneak. Everybody else should be running around and yelling. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know going forward, but it would have Nvidia's been a good investment. The investment uh, last week. Oh, really? Did Nvidia shoot Jesus up? Surprised? Yes. It like from 500 to 750 or something crazy, like like something ridiculous. It became the third largest company. I think it overtook Alphabet. Like, really, like some ridiculous like bump up by Nvidia. Yeah, Damn. Um, and then and then Bitcoin went back up to 49,000. Um, that's a lot. Been an interesting week. I don't know what any of it means, and frankly, I don't think anyone does. I don't think anyone does. Anyone who's like. They got their spreadsheets and their fucking graphs. They 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 sh not not this. This is simple, but like got the scary spreadsheets and graphs, and mm -hmm. you see the patterns are all here, Kyle. Like they're reading that code in the Matrix. <laughs> they're acting like they're cipher. Yeah, I, I can't read it, <laughs> but I just see redhead, blonde, brunette. You know, like like you can read that fucking green upside down. No, you can't, you fucker. You maybe here's here's what you do. You follow Nancy Pelosi. That's my fucking fund. I do what Nancy Pelosi does. Can you does. do that? Or is as long it too she delayed holds, to work? I hold. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's probably too delayed. Otherwise, everyone would have been doing that, right? Just going by what politicians hold. Mm. She's consistently outperforming the market. That woman is a good investor. Yeah. I saw her getting screamed at in the halls of Congress by uh, liberals. Like, like, uh, over, like, like, why are you... Why, you're a genocide apologist. Why are you funding bombs to murder people? And then like throwing a quote at her. You said this, this, and that. Here we are. Here it is. Why are you murdering them? Shame, shame. And more people are screaming. And she's, oh. Old she should have explained, if you guys donated to my campaign as much as the Jewish people had, I would be supporting your interests. What she, mm -hmm. what she actually did. And look, I'm not one of those conspiracy theorists. So I, I just thought it was silly and a weird like quirk. She did a weird hand signal to the person and like and like walked away. She she was I like I saw that in Crocodile Dundee, it works. Oh, that's this. That's this. <laughs> <laughs> water, and all of a sudden the water buffalo is getting a little dizzy. Just lay his ass down. Um, but but the, Nancy Pelosi did some sort of satanic right wiggle wiggle hand. Mm. Like she it looked like she was doing one of those made up handshakes from 90s TV shows. <laughs> <laughs> like when Will Smith would let slide in and he'd be doing all sorts of crazy shit with Jazzy Jeff. Man, I didn't see her do satanic hand motions. I've seen it before. It's pretty scary. It is. It's involuntary. She can't help it. She can't, she's it, like fucking 82 owl. and she's carrying those giant tits. Imagine how much her back hurts. <laughs> she's mm. still with it, though. I don't have a problem with her age. At least... When I see her interact with you know the cameras and interviewers and stuff, she seems to be pretty with it. She's not um, Feinstein, who they literally yeah. just like weekend at Bernie's that poor chick <laughs> to get her last couple votes. In. You see, like yeah. the, the last time they like wheeled her out, she's got like a dead eye, <laughs> just, like, <laughs> just like moving her. It's it was she had absurd. She had it was stroke sure eye. She was voting on. Um, yeah. That was awful, and and that thing that happened with Mitch McConnell was weird. Happened that was at like least a twice. Is he that stroked out anymore? Or something like that. That was so weird.